ng Alright, so um okay, yeah, playing this uh one game against Master Blaster. I respect Master Blaster a lot as a player, even though I've barely played against them. Um I I've just seen them play a lot, um, in like Mystic Juicers videos and stuff. So I notice a play later on in this game that confused me and that's why I'm making this video. It's just like a try to avoid plays like this type of video. No. And or don't play if you're not going to be paying attention to information like the information that's revealed later on in the game. So, with this opening hand against a Geiger, uh, well, against anything, against any opponent, against anyone. No. Against uh, just a typical opponent, I'd probably want to just like eight block, eight throw, six block type of thing. Hey, hey, one of those options. But against Geiger, it's slightly more annoying because I could just like turn one spiral you, and then if you block, you get, you probably get thrown. Well, I mean, against a more experienced player like Master Blaster, they probably wouldn't spiral you unless I had a throw, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, this is a good opening hand. So, so I'm not really sure what I'd do here, but I'd probably lean towards like six blocking. Okay, eight throw gets two attacks, which is kind of annoying. Nice start to this game. So turn one time spiral, spiral hurricane off of a two. So I start the game after turn one at 68 health. Which is fairly low. Didn't even talk through my thought process that turn. I just wanted to I wanted to win combat the previous turn so I blocked. Which is not possible to even do, but I wanted to block that too, so I blocked. Now, I mean, I have a two that I can't really use for meaningful value. So it's in my hand still. I have a 10 that I'd want to wait until I have something really threatening going before I... Like if I reveal the a king, tags and throws is, you know, it's the yummy bot play. If I reveal a queen, <laughs> Tax attack, because even though it's really not real, um, then you dodge, and then you follow up with the queen or whatever. Um, so yeah, obviously not going to use either of these abilities right now. 
but uh, we'll have to play this turn probably just the six again. Seven throw, I don't know. Probably should just be dodging. I mean, seven throw also is pretty ambitious. If I were to say, um, get my, I mean, I'm just like, I over play around spirals. If my six got spiraled, it means like mass blaster has to go down so many. Well, I mean, at least one more hard. So I probably tax attacks here, just you know, because I'm paranoid about was like getting hit again, scared of getting attacked here on lockdown. What I think happens is a master blaster blocks, and I probably don't block, and I probably don't throw. I, probably, I don't know. I probably attack myself. I don't know about how to attack. What I would attack with. No. Yeah, I would hope I block actually. What the six? Seventh row. That's pretty ambitious again. I don't know if I had an odd block. No. Yeah. Didn't have an odd block there. But I, I mean, I did have a two, I did have a jack. If I really wanted to win. Combat on that turn. I mean, that two is not the way to go, it's the jack, obviously. But... And Master, Blast Master Blaster's hand size is pretty low. So Kang might get them, even though Geiger has uh, four, seven, and eight to beat it. So might not have one of those. But I mean, can't even follow up or chooses not to follow up their three, meaning they probably have nothing, no spirals, or they want to save them for blocks or something. This game is not going well. That was really lucky. And I like wasted my sevens. I somehow have two sevens in discard. Um, so I don't have. I should have a straight here, but I don't. But six attack, that is ambitious. Because five attack is like Quince's like preferred attack to play. Like because five, six, seven, Jack. Yeah, and I should basically clean because you know. And I'm pumping it with a Jack because I have a two. So I can two back my 10 jack and 10 jack queen. And it's just good to get some damage on the opponent here. Be able to spend the 10 or king, whatever. No jack, okay. It's possible I should just. So yeah, two back, queen jack, 10.
Okay, so here's a semi-interesting decision comes up at the moment. Um, how, first of all, like, how do you split this? What do you value the most? Um, because you obviously split it. And this is the first time I've ever seen this happen, I'm pretty sure. People were, like, pretty surprised in the chat, I'm pretty sure, in a moment here. Um, I don't recall seeing this before. The double joker, two truths. Um, but, so you, you can split, like, two cards, one joker, a card and the joker, and you get the card and the joker, but what card is that? I would say it's clean, because it deals the most damage by itself, so I would probably split, like, like you know, 10 jack joker and clean joker, and expect to get clean joker. Whoops. But I, <laughs> but I launched eternal. Nice. Let's quit that for now. I think I eventually get there. And Master Blaster has never seen that either. So that's... I mean... It's ridiculous. Yeah, I hope I get to this place where I'm, it's Queen Joker, because that's just the obvious. I mean... Maybe that's not right, but... I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. <laughs> you know. It's not a, it's a, not a demonic tutor. It doesn't get you exactly what you want, but, I mean. I just flipped over two jokers. It's pretty amazing. So, yeah. That's how I split it. I get the queen joker split. I wonder if I tax anything here. I mean, I... I use the the jack instead of the king, so taxing like like that's a bad thing to tax. <laughs> like you tax blocks because if they play a dodge, then you can just spin. Yeah. Like, I would play, since I'm slower, I generally play, I usually play the attack side towards them. I usually use the attack side and then spin to the dodge side. So, I mean, I bet I play this, even though it's probably just going to get blocked <laughs> for no, no value. They're probably, they're minimal value. Like, I either spin it or I deal two chip damage and I spin like a king that I'm scared to play, I guess, somehow. Or it can just get threed. Because that makes sense. I mean, I guess this is like the beat throw play. But it didn't work out because Jack is faster. I don't want to spin because of the potential for them to have a joker. I just want to... <laughs> I feel like I eventually can't prevent that from being like a bad thing but for me but yeah eventually i can't prevent the joker from stopping my spin so now i revealed the, the king and i have a six to stop throws with That would be my preferred piece of anti-throw technology, would be this right here, the, the attack side, you know. It's pretty risky to play the king because they have 12, yeah, they have 12 cards that beat king, so. 
So yeah. Six attack, beautiful. It's exactly how to how to be. And then for some reason I queen. Pumping with my King I revealed. And a dodge. Now we're both at very low life totals. I have no blocks left. <laughs> so that was probably wrong. I probably draw a block though. I don't even know. I mean, like, I guess I reveal King again. But I don't have a normal attack this time, so it's a little scary. So I probably reveal Jack for that reason. Because I. Yeah. Okay, so I have no blocks, which is very bad. Um. Well, most of the time it's bad. Against Geiger, yeah, it's not as bad, but it's still nice to have a block. I don't know. Instead of just throwing away cards every turn. So I guess I'm just playing this Jack here on uh, attack side. Maybe I do dodge side, though. Yeah. And I don't even spin it. I probably should spin it here. Just because, like, they get an extra card, I get an extra card. Or I'm denying him one card, and I draw a card. So, yeah. So that's probably worth it there. And, like, my, my king spin is not good. That's my payoff for dealing the chip damage is this king spin. But it's, yeah. <laughs> it's threatening, believe me. Absurd Patriot Mirror. <laughs> Just pl again, played something that, like, they have to have a Joker, basically. The way that they're playing, they're playing all these things, it's like, I mean, basically, like, the three, most of the time, well, if I actually play the king, I have to dodge. And uh, then they can joker after I dodge, and then they can stop me from doing my my stuff. But I don't even know if I realized that this was happening during the game, but probably didn't. So I don't I don't uh, patriot mirror because I have like I have five cards, so. I don't, I mean, it would be hard to have lethal. It is kind of possible to do, but it would be tough. So they're knocked down, I have a king. And... Would I play this king? Yes, I would play it. Um, the thing that's annoying is they still have this joker, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, I haven't seen it, but... Just the way that they're playing, there's no way they don't, so it doesn't really work out even if I play the king. And I get I have to dodge an attack or whatever, they joker, then yeah. Yep. So I mean the alternative is playing like it's not lethal, which is the bad thing. But I could play like consent of the governor and just put them to two. I mean, it's like a little risky if they like block, you know, I mean, that's the, <laughs> I don't have, I don't, then it puts them to 14 and I don't have lethal off my, like, if this would actually hit this king starter throw, throw starter thing, I only have 12, so, no, no, no. Yep, so R and D's to get out of it, which is a sign of desperation. They have three spirals in this card, so that's not horrible to spiral or to R and D there. So 
Oh, wow. Actually, a play with, like, just a three into consent, and that would be lethal, but... Yep, yep, yep. That's what probably should have happened here. But yeah, anyway. So I just get thrown, I don't face down. One of my few times of being smart with this mechanic. Quince gets extra value of it, out, out of it with his twos and stuff, but um, at this hand size it's difficult. And I have nothing to like really, I have no twos and but if you have if you have a healthier hand, that's an opportunity to put something in discard for later, to two trues back. So yeah, knockdown. This is very bad. Um, cons consent is reasonable, but it only puts them to two. It doesn't win the game, but it beats all spirals. And so I just play it <laughs> for for that reason. It beats all spirals, right? Go to fourteen. I'd like if I throw into the six. That's thirteen. That's just very bad. Yeah, don't have a face card. Draw to beauty. I don't know why I got the king. I mean, it's just a dodge, I guess. Still decent. I mean, the queen doesn't win the game by itself, so. Not that. I don't know. How to split this? Well, you probably want the 10 with the king. Yeah, I mean, this split's probably good. I probably get the king of the time if I split it like that. Okay, well, I probably get this pile. I don't know. I probably get the three cards because king is terrible. Yeah, king is terrible unless I'm correct. about whether or not they're playing around it. Yeah. See, I didn't understand this when I first when I was playing this this game originally. I was like... <laughs> I mean, first of all, it's like three cards either way, in my opinion, because of the 10. I mean, I didn't realize that they can not play into your, your tax, but Master Blaster could not play into my tax, and I could just have one card instead of two or three or whatever. But it's fine. So if that would happen, it would be three cards-ish, but this way it's a, it's three, but they're not that valuable. Nothing. 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 So on this turn... They know I have these three, at least, and a joker. So a lot of my hand is not an info, which is kind of scary. Um, I probably nine block. Nope. Six attack. Another R&D played as combat card. And I can't follow this up, it's just, oh no. <laughs> so annoying. Because I played the game wrong. Because I played the game wrong. Like, I should be able to follow this up for actual something. And I just have nothing. It's not like I... I probably would have followed it up if I had anything. I probably power up these nines. I don't power up those nines, so that's surprising. Okay, so we're back into Kingspin territory. So, like, they still have a joke. I mean, oh, no, they used their joker. So, for nothing. They got nothing out of it. From their point of view, maybe I played around it. 
because based on how they were playing, like on the Kingspin turns attacking into it, it's like you obviously have a Joker or you are acting like you do anyway. I'm pretty sure I just attack into something stupid here. After I saw this, I, I took the bait, I think. I think I just like 5 attack. And it's bad because I can't even, it's not even lethal. <laughs> 5 attack. Oh, yeah. Good thing I have this throw lag around. What are they? Okay, for, and they, they're kind of messing around or something. I mean, this temporal distortioning for. Like. I mean, they know I have a Joker as well. And I can't follow it up either. Because I messed up. And now I power up for an ace for some reason. <laughs> Not a second one, though. One is enough. Probably tax the rose, yep. Okay, now's the time to just play this, though. And I probably play it and get thrown. Nope. Get kinged. It's fairly annoying. That happens to me a lot when I'm on a king's spin turn against Geiger. Because that beats, like, beats anything that you would do. It's absurd. Beats any attack or throw you would play, so besides being king. So I'm, I'm knocked down. Just hanging out down here. Master Blaster's powering up for two aces for some reason. I also am powering up. So, like, I can play around the the two way side that is a spiral is slower than my consent. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I can't beat Cycloid, but yeah. I can block, or I can do Gold Burst, but uh, Gold Burst is worse than blocking. I'd rather block. So I probably block with like 5. And I probably get thrown. Or crossed up. Oh my god, I can set. <laughs> oh my god. I wish I just threw with the king. But I mean, it makes... Makes some sense. What damage does it do? Three chip damage. And then your throws deal eight damage. So that's 11 and 14. You'd have to have a very particular hand to be able to win. And I'm like, I mean, Queen Jack would kill me. <laughs> Queen Jack would kill me. Six Jack would kill me. Seven Jack would kill me. Queen Queen would not. If I blocked, if they did the spiral. Side of double ace. So... This is the this is the moment that I have. I don't know. I don't understand this. Um, what happens next? I really I don't fully understand. Like if they like weren't taking this game, if they just like forgot that I had a Joker somehow. Or if um, they were like kidding around or something, I don't really know. <laughs> but here's what happens. 
And I just immediately face them. And then they say the following. They say, IYG, IYGI. Okay. Which I've never seen before. I've ne I had never seen that. I had never seen that before. What are they doing? Why are they doing this? Shouldn't they know that this is real? So yeah, like, this is just like a disaster. What is going on? What is going on? Why? So... IYGI, <laughs> YGI. YGI. So I'm confused because, yeah, I don't understand your jargon over there. If you got it, you got it. And then, you got it. But... They should have known that I had it from two truths, like, 30 minutes ago or whatever, in game time. So I remind them of something they should have known. And apparently they know very little. We bull dodged. They dodged with a four. What is going on? <laughs> they dodged with a four. And I probably just throw them for the win. Or like three. No, it's a three attack. I know it's a three attack. Because it's for Xaxes. No, it's not. Sevens clashing. That's someone being wrong, in my opinion. Someone should just be brave enough to attack there. Three, three, three attack. Yes. Five attack. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that... That's the play. That was incredibly wrong to believe. Let's go back. First, let's go back to the ace. The ace is being played. So the ace is good play here. Um, now the thing, the thing about this is that it's, it's known info and this has come back to like hurt me, <laughs> this kind of thing. Or like one time I was playing against Riker and I had, I was playing against, uh, Riker was playing Ventiva, I was playing Grave, and I had Martial Mastery and I knew they had an ace, I knew that Ventiva, Riker's Ventiva had an ace, or whoops, had a Joker, I knew they had a Joker, and somehow I landed a normal maybe through a knockdown, don't really remember. And I had True Power of Storms in hand, and Riker, Vendetta, Riker's Vendetta was at um, exactly 47. So, you know, I if I um, two, if I connect the two, hit confirm the two into True Power of Storms, it's exactly 47, so it had exactly lethal. But I knew they had a Joker. 
and um, so they could like use that information against me. Here's a case where I get dodged. As as usual, before I even know what they're gonna do, I have to Joker it. And if they, I didn't know they had three aces. I'm pretty sure I didn't know that. I think I knew they had two. I don't think I knew that they had three. No. So, you know, I can survive the two ways, but I can't survive the three, but, but I just immediately, uh, Joker. So, maybe it was like, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think if you do it like fast enough, people will be like, there's no way that's real. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like, in this situation, this game should have ended a long time before this ever could have happened. This basically shouldn't have happened, but it did happen. So it's a double teaching opportunity, both like, I don't know, if you have a game like this, if you're playing a Geiger and they're using their 8s to throw with and their 4s to throw with, they're either desperate or they're playing the game wrong <laughs> you know they're doing something like weird that's hard to like understand like because i'd imagine you would prefer in most situations to uh put up a temporal distortion with this thing and to like look at three cards with this thing. I mean, they had two aces in this card at one point. So, so yeah. But it's hard to use, like, when it's this exact situation, it's hard for Master Blaster to use this information against me. Because, like, I have, a jo I have a Joker. Um, It's really hard to <laughs> get value out of Jokers against Geiger. If they do this exact thing, <laughs> you can get value out of it. Um, if they try to use Cycloid, you can take advantage of it. The surprising thing to me is not just playing the Cycloid, even though, yeah, I could just block, which obviously I should have blocked. So that's... They're trying to like minimize their risk to, I mean, not min I mean, to a small, as small of an extent as they can minimize their risk because they have, here are my aces, I'm attacking into you, you're going to dodge this. If this isn't a joker, you're, you're eliminated. If I just play triple ace, if I play double ace, I probably can't, they probably can't power up for the second one, so then their single ace doesn't really do anything. And that's a lot to like just give up. No, they could time spiral hurricane if they, if they think I'm going to block. And then throw me, and if they have like the perfect hand, they can win. Not the perfect hand, but a perfect hand, a perfect you know, set of cards for that situation. But yeah, let's just go back to where this originally happened. Somewhere around here. Yep. Jokers pop out. So that's I'm imagining that they were joking about this Joker thing. It's like if you play if you played it, you played it or something is what they should be saying. If you like 
are telepathic and know that I have a third ace and that you have to joker this or you lose. Um, not that taking, not that going to five is a good idea though. So, I mean, it's like, it makes sense to joker it because I knew there were two aces, but, <laughs> but I don't lose. I don't necessarily just lose to that. Um, but yeah. It's if they weren't joking about this, then th this is this is important. You have like you don't have to remember this information if you want to like be a competent player who like does you know has consistent good results. It's like you want to keep track of the like power cards that you know of in your opponent's hand and joker is one of the most unique cards that in any character's deck um and the good thing is every character has them sometimes it's annoying especially for like quince or whatever but because it makes it tough for him to get his engine going but it's good because it makes it tough for him to get his engine going and it would be overwhelmingly good without jokers but still can be annoying sometimes but in this situation from the perspective of the geiger once this is revealed to you if you do not track this you can minimize the damage these can deal by you know using a certain card using this four you can minimize great you have a joker it is it has been neutralized it all i have to do is be right in combat and it doesn't matter so that's the way to play it and i mean that's the way to normally play geiger anyway just in this case I think they got locked in on like me having a low hand. Me have me having a low hand size. That was both we both had a low hand size. But so like the the distortion wasn't gonna do that much of anything. I don't even know when it happened, but it's like yeah, I get five attacked here somewhere. And then I get kings. So was the previous turn. So, I mean, at this point, they have one ace in hand. They can get back this queen. They can queen. And... Like, the thing that I do is I three. On my Kingspin turn. So, they can just Q... And then they can probably kill me because it's a linker. Their throws are stars, unfortunately, but they can probably still get enough damage out of it. So then they would have they have twenty one from this. They have twenty eight from this. Well, I'm just I'm dead to that because I'm at I I get hit with a king. That's actually what happens. I get hit with a king on this knock on, on this king turn from one after this.
And then I try to go for the, the Gusto. But I just really, I really mean like face downing there is like, that's like a play of competence or something. So it's like, well, I mean, I might as well face down because like, if you have a jack, I just lose. So yeah. If you have a six, I just lose. If you actually powered up before this turn, I lose. If you got double A's before this turn. That's tougher to do though. It would be pretty tough to put double A's at the end of that for the extra three damage when it does four to block and beats everything besides Cyclone Revolution. So, oh, and Kang, right? Okay, and Kang, yes. But two Kings are gone? One King? Oh, well, two are going to be gone here. Yeah, tax throws. See how, like, yeah, and they have a queen. Like, I'm just confused why they didn't go for this, the, the TD here earlier on. Let's just see this Kang hit me. <laughs> yeah, no, that's stupid. I wonder if they have the they had the Joker back then when they were dodging, or when they were attacking into my king. They probably did. I, don't know, I can't remember exactly when that was. We're going to take a lot of lag here. I mean, it's also like not, you just can't get thrown off by stuff like that either. Like, that's hilarious, but, <laughs> like, you know, like, I somehow still won this game, despite the fact that I flipped over this absurdity. Despite the fact that that happened, I was still able to keep together and win. I just want to see this king. I just, like, they have to have a joker in hand based on how they played it. So yeah, I reveal the king this time. And then I like my patron here. Or six dark. They don't have a joker? What the heck? I don't know where this turn was, where they have three. It's maybe some upcoming turn. Well, their hand is just horrible, but. I guess one other reason they're keeping this around is because of King. But they're playing scared they're playing scared of King. Like they could just win the game instead. <laughs> I mean you have two of them. You don't have to keep both of them around to beat my one king. 
So now I was scared to reveal it. Wish I had a throw. I just reinstalled. Well, I have no idea where that is. But there was at some point where they, they three. Yeah, geez, flag, flag. Maybe it's this turn? I don't know. Like, I just Patriot Mirror here, I think. And they three. And okay, they have a Joker. Like, they they definitely play the three here. That one I don't fully understand. <laughs> I mean, if I want to beat it, I have to tour Jack, or Patriot Mirror, or Consent. It's hard to beat, but... The idea is that, you know, I'd reveal, like, throws out of King. And then... I would have to spend my King, and they have a Joker. So, I mean, like, at this point, when watching this replay, I knew they had a Joker here. Based on how they played it, or I was, like, assuming they had him. But, you know, as usual in this game, things can be played around. And this is not an exception. Like, if I was actually paying attention to that, it, I don't know. Ended up not mattering, because I had nothing to follow up into. No, I just play this, I'm pretty sure. I'm foolish. 